So we were taking oh. a smoke break uh, from ping pong, mm-hmm. and we saw Blake Vapes from the yeah. internet. It was really funny. It's a dude from the internet. Yeah, yeah. You, you watch this stuff? I li- no, I don't. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't nah, but anyway, he was hovering around. And like 360, 360, 360, and came over. Came over. We ain't invite him over. No, we ain't no. want him to come over, but he came over anyway. I noticed that they were holding ping pong paddles because, of course, they were. They're the Lucas brothers, and it reminded me of their fucking legacy of ping pong championships in the 80s, dude. So I was like, dude, we should play a game. If someone challenges you on the streets, you gotta accept it. Exactly. I mean, that's what the hood says. And that's the street rules. Right. So we said, fuck it. Yeah, we'll, we'll play him. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, that was cool. And then he disrespectfully slapped my spliff out of my hand. I saw that they were fucking smoking a cigarette. And I was like, Lucas Brothers, that shit's bad for you. And of course I knocked it out of their hand, dude. That was a I good mean, spliff. That was it was a, a well rolled spliff. spliff. And yep. he just hit it out of my brother's hand. So we had to destroy this dude in ping yeah. pong. Yeah, I mean, because, again, that's the rules of the street. You can't smack a joint out of someone's hand and not expect to get checked. Then we get upstairs and he wanted to play both of us. And we're like, all right, whatever, that's strange, but sure. And then he served at our place. Like, at our place. Like, you know, we ain't even volley. No, we didn't volley for it. He just did it. He just did it. Because I was a guest in their house, I figured I might as well just go ahead and start to serve. And so that's what I did. I, I started it. You know, I got to give him some props. Like, he, he went on, he was pretty good. He, he was, was dope. And I took a big ass lead. Then, for some odd reason, he made a phone call while we were playing, and he asked for our address, and I was like, nah, man, I'm not giving you my address. He gives you that. Why are you even in our house? But then, they fucking, they started to gel together, dude. The twins were back in their fucking, in their twin best shape from the 80s. He started to feel it a little bit more. He started Mm -hmm. to play the corners a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. We started to get in sync. That's right. And we tied him, but But then then he he took his his pants off. Yeah. And that's when I was like, nah, dude, I don't not kill the game. And so I took it to the next level. Took my pants off, took my jacket off. And that's when things sort of went south. It was a little, it was a little weird. Yeah, took his I, pants off. I wasn't expecting it. I started busting out some of my old tricks, dude. I mean, I never seen a dude do so many crazy shots. I mean, he did it behind his back, between his legs. I mean, uh, eating chips, uh, eating dip. chips, and dip. Yeah. He actually hit the ball with the vape. Yeah. I ain't never seen anything like that. And he read this stupid book. What is it? He was reading this book. He was reading this book. Nice. Oh, what is it? Pretty, pretty. Well, Howard Marks. He was reading from Howard Marks. Howard Marks. Point after point after point after point is fucking lit. He was even sitting down on us. He sat down on us. He got angry. I have never seen you get that angry. Stand the fuck up. I don't really get that angry. I like when I see a nigga sitting down of on course, us. Of course, of course. I gotta course. do something. Yeah, I know. And then we heard the doorbell ring and it got a little weird. It got weird. And that's when fucking, of course, DJ Matty Gust brought Uncle Larry. I called him earlier in the match and he came through. His uh, Uncle Larry showed up and I thought it was a dude. We just thought it was gonna be an old man, man or right. uncle. Oh, yeah, some, someone, but it was a picture yeah. of an old white dude. In a nipple. In a, in a nipple. It was a nipple on it. I had to let Uncle Larry see me destroy the Lucas Brothers fucking legacy, dude. And that's exactly what he saw. He saw me take down both of them. He saw me destroy Kenny's weak defense. He saw me fucking obliterate what they thought was once their legacy. And then we probably had quite possibly the greatest, most epic volley of all time. Oh yeah. I hit it to Kenny, back to me, back to Kenny, back to me. Just back and forth, back and forth. You could just, the drama was there, the tension was there. One of the best fucking volleys that has ever occurred in the history of Pong, dude. He disrespected us, he beat us in our own apartment, and then he took our goddamn paddle. Stole our paddle. Fuck that, dude. I'm taking the paddle because I deserve it. And get on my shit. Uncle Larry, you're coming with me. That's that's what a victory looks like, dude. Right there. Hell yeah. The Bluetooth device is ready to pal. Later, dudes. Thanks for the victory, dude. Fuck you. As soon as I won, 
I uh, said thank you, Lucas Brothers. Thank you for your hospitality and letting me kill the game. Unfortunately, my brother not as good as he used to be. I uh, I was smoking a lot of weed yesterday, last night, today. Mm -hmm. I'm just off. It changed our lives. It destroyed our lives. Our, our brotherhood is over. I know. We can't be brothers anymore because of him. It's a wrap.